Hi everyone, welcome back to Style and Sugar. And this is a can of pumpkin puree. And I am gonna put this on to the sheet pan and roast it in the oven because we are gonna make a really delicious concentrate to go in some pumpkin cinnamon rolls. I thought this would be interesting because you can see it, like it's, um, it's not that wet, but I just wanna to try to remove a little bit more of this moisture out of here and maybe get a richer flavor. So let's do a really good experiment today and see how this goes. So I'm maybe gonna roast this for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, just until I see maybe the color get like a little darker and you know, that it becomes more of like a concentrate. So with this pumpkin puree concentrate that I'm going to roast, some of it is gonna go into our dough and then some of it is gonna go into the filling for the bun. So when the cinnamon buns are finished baking, I'm gonna pipe some of this like pumpkin filling into like the center for like a nice fall surprise. So I just wanna smooth this out into like kind of a nice layer. Okay, so into the oven this goes for 15 minutes. So this is our pumpkin. Um, it's been roasting for um, for 15 minutes at 300. And I don't know if you can see like the steam kind of rising off of that. So it is doing what I wanted to do, evaporating. And I'm touching it. And I think this could be, I think this could be even a little more dehydrated. So I'm gonna put it back into the oven for another 15 minutes. So it's been another 15 minutes and I'm just checking on this. And I think I'm gonna stir it a little bit because the top has gotten like a little leathery. Um, and I just wanna make sure that I can get out as much of this water as possible. So I think I'm just gonna stir it and let it go another 15 minutes and that'll be it. Okay, that was my timer. And here is our dehydrated. Okay, I'm just gonna let this cool down. And it's still, it's still pliable. It's not like, um, like pumpkin jerky. And I think this is gonna be excellent. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to make pumpkin buns. And I'm just gonna get started by activating our yeast. So in this measuring cup, I have one cup of warm milk, and this is the equivalent of one pack of yeast. And then I just have a little bit of sugar, and I'm just gonna dissolve this. So this is the sugar that goes into my dough, but I just put a little bit in there. And I'll just dissolve this yeast. And we will let the yeast activate while we get the rest of our ingredients into the bowl. So let's just review the rest of our ingredients. I have four cups of flour. This is one quarter cup of potato starch. This is some sugar, some salt, two eggs, some softened butter, and this is the pumpkin concentrate that I made yesterday. So let's get some things into our mixing bowl. So into the mixing bowl, we have four cups of flour. And we have a half a cup of sugar. And this is one quarter cup of potato starch. And it's like a dough conditioner. It makes the buns really fluffy. And this is one teaspoon of my favorite pink salt. And I'm just gonna combine these. Okay, so next I'm going to put in, this is two eggs at room temperature. And this is our softened butter. And this is our pumpkin concentrate. So I'm gonna put most of this into our dough, but I'm gonna reserve um, about a third of it to go into our filling. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. So we took that pumpkin, um, that canned pumpkin, and um, it was a little like wet in my opinion. So I wanted to like oven roast it and get like a richer flavor. So that's what I did. And that's what we have here. 
and that is our pumpkin concentrate. And then lastly, just in that short amount of time, our yeast is nice and awake, so let's get that in too. Okay, so we are just gonna let this go on, um, on a low speed on the number two for seven minutes. And what a great color for this dough. Look at that, just beautiful. This is just a little bit of flour. Just putting a little flour on top because this dough looks so soft today. I guess because of our pumpkin. And I'm even gonna spray my hand a little bit. Okay, so I just wanna bring this dough together into like a ball. So I'm gonna knead it just a little bit. Okay, so here is this great colored dough. Probably the prettiest dough color I ever made. So look at this great colored bowl from Home Goods. And I'm gonna let my dough rise for about 90 minutes. Or until this doubles in size, but I found that it takes about 90 minutes. The last time I made cinnamon buns, I put a streusel on top and it added some great texture. So that's what I'm gonna make right now. So I just have a small bowl and this is one half cup of flour. This is one quarter cup of brown sugar. This is about um, a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And this is just a little bit of vanilla sugar. Oh, I almost forgot the pumpkin seeds. And we're also gonna add some of these pumpkin seeds with sea salt. So we're just gonna combine these things before we add in a little bit of melted butter. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a little sprinkle of salt. Next I have, this is three tablespoons of some melted butter. I'm just gonna pour this all around. And I'm just gonna mix this around until I kind of get that streusel -y look. The streusel just looks like it needs to come together a little bit more. So just a little drizzle of some oil. Okay, this is the look that I was going for. Really looks like a good streusel. This streusel is just gonna go into the oven for about 10 minutes until it gets nice and crispy. Okay, there we go, in the oven. Okay, now we're going to make the filling for our cinnamon buns. And it's very simple. This is just one cup of brown sugar. And we have one half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. And this is a half a tablespoon of cinnamon. And you can use a full tablespoon of whichever one you like, but I'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin pie spice, but I think that it's gonna complement these well, so that's why I put a half a tablespoon. And just combine this together. Okay, and that easily, our filling is all done. So remember, we have um, also a filling that's gonna go on the inside of the bun once they're cooked. So there's the hole. So this is our roasted pumpkin for the filling that's gonna go inside the bun. Imagine like the center of the bun, there's gonna be a pumpkin filling. And I took a little bit of the pumpkin out, about a tablespoon, um, because I decided to put some in the icing also. Okay, so this is just our pumpkin. And 
to the pumpkin, we're gonna add about an equal amount of cream cheese. And when I say filling, I mean, I'm talking about maybe a tablespoon, you know, inside, just like a little kind of um, pumpkin cheesecake surprise. I'm gonna combine these two before I put my sugar in. Okay, so to this filling, I'm gonna put um, a little bit of this vanilla. and some cinnamon, not a whole lot of cinnamon. Okay, this is pretty well combined, so I'm gonna add in um, a quarter cup of powdered sugar. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping a little bit because I don't want this to be too sweet, so when I get this combined, I'll give it a taste. I'm just gonna give this a taste. I think we need the full quarter cup of the sugar and the concentrated pumpkin. It's delicious. So we have the sharpness of like the cream cheese and that concentrated pumpkin flavor and the cinnamon and the vanilla. And I know this is just so tedious and I'm a tedious person, but honestly a bun like this, you would just make it once a year so why not just, just go all out? And I'm just gonna put it into a piping bag and it'll be ready to fill our buns once they are cooked. So let's just get our dough so we can get rolling. And today the dough took 90 minutes. I find that 30 minutes just is not long enough. So today um, I'm going to roll this out into an 18 by 18 inch square. So since I want to end with a square, I'm starting with a square. And I just love the color of this dough. and it's really nice and soft dough. And I see the pumpkin in here. I thought about maybe putting spice in the dough, but I didn't want to overdo it. And honestly, I'm doing a square, but I used to do a rectangle and you are welcome to do a rectangle. Um, but I like this because when, you know how long it is, I don't have any weird scraps. Like I don't want to cut the ends off and have to wait and um, you know bake these like little small and weird pieces. So I like to make like 12 really good buns. Now that it's mostly there, I can kind of help the dough along and get it into the corners. And this is one stick of unsalted butter. And we just wanna get this butter spread from end to end so that our sugar and cinnamon and, and pumpkin spice blend mix can stick to it well. So the next thing is our filling and I put the filling right in the middle. And with my hand, I just move the filling. I don't like to mix the cinnamon mix in the, um, in the butter together. I found that it was like just hard to spread and I like this way better. Oh, that smells so good, those spices. Those warm fall spices. This is such a perfect fall bun. Since I have the pumpkin seeds on my island still, um, how about a few pumpkin seeds inside for some, just a little bit of added texture. So I just want to like kind of get a lip down here.
And today I am gonna pinch these clothes. My kitchen is nice and warm and I swear this dough is like rising already. So today I'm trying something new with these buns. Um, I'm gonna use the dental floss trick. Um, one of my viewers suggested it. But first I'm gonna do my markings. And look, this is a pizza saver and it's an inch and a half and it gives me 12 like perfectly sized buns. So I'm just marking and then I don't have to like find my ruler and wash my ruler. Okay, here's my first one. Make sure it's even. Oh, that was nice. I like that. That's no problem at all. dough is just so soft today. So these are our buns and I'm just gonna even them out in the pan a little bit. And they are just gonna sit at room temperature for maybe, I don't know, another 45 minutes or until they get like nice and proof. We are now ready to make our frosting for these pumpkin buns. So this is just three tablespoons of butter I'm gonna put into this bowl. And that's nice, soft butter. And next is just um, a half a block of cream cheese. I'm sorry, that was four tablespoons of butter. That was a half a stick of unsalted butter. And then next we have that one tablespoon of the pumpkin. And I meant to add some orange zest to the filling, I forgot. So I'm just gonna add that in now. And this is optional. And this is just about a, um, a tablespoon of orange juice. And this is just to brighten up the flavors. I'm gonna scrape down my bowl. And look, it has a really nice color from the pumpkin. Okay, next I'm gonna put in the powdered sugar. I have two cups of powdered sugar and I'm gonna add them in one at a time. Okay, everything was all nice and room temperature, so our frosting came together really quickly. I'm just gonna put this into a piping bag and put it into the fridge until we need it. This is a half a cup of white chocolate. And I'm gonna make a little kind of pumpkin garnish. So I'm just gonna melt these in the microwave for like 40 seconds until I can stir them. Okay, we're gonna pipe these pumpkins. First I'll do a test.
And if they look bad, then I'm not gonna use them. So there's my kind of pumpkin. And I'll just put some pumpkin seeds for the little stalk. Now let's try another one. This one's a little better. This decorating thing is, is like new for me. Garnishing. Forgot about my sticks. So I hope you've enjoyed making these pumpkin buns with me. I've had so much fun experimenting with all these new flavors. Um, and I just like to have fun in the kitchen. That's my goal, is to just be creative. So I'm just fixing that in place. And I'll use them if I don't get too much pushback. The truth hurts sometimes. And you can let me know also, like, what were you thinking about? You didn't have to do that. And I'll stick these into the freezer. But first, let's go to bun cam. Okay, here are the buns. And these are ready to go into the oven. I'm just gonna take off the proofing bag. And here they are. So you see they've already like just about filled the pan. So these go into a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. I think they're cute. But again, let me know. To the top rack and the rotate. Wow, these are gigantic today. These are gigantic and they look really good. So I'm just gonna let these sit for about 10 minutes and we are going to put the filling in and our icing. So here's our filling and here is the pumpkin frosting. So we have pumpkin filling and an orange cream cheese pumpkin frosting and a streusel. So I just wanna make sure that I have room for the filling. So this is just a butter knife and I'm just making a little bit of room. So there's the hole. And it's honestly not like that much, but when I filled the, um, the bonafide key lime pie buns, I really liked that little surprise of filling inside. Okay, there's our filling. That's just the way I wanted it to look, and I'm so pleased with this. So I hope you've enjoyed baking with pumpkin today. Um, this was just a classic cinnamon roll, and I just put my own twist on it for fall. We added a pumpkin filling and a pumpkin frosting. I'm just trying to use up the rest of this because what am I gonna do with it? I don't want it to go to waste. And today I'm gonna go in a zigzag. I usually do a swirl, but today's a zigzag. And I love this contrast that we're getting. I 
grain streusel in here. So here's our streusel, it's nice and crunchy. And what great texture this is gonna add. My daughter's down here now. We'll see, we'll see what she says. But I'm gonna put one in and we'll see what her reaction is. Let's see if this is just ridiculous. Does that look ridiculous? A little bit? But I put one in, so I feel like I gotta keep going. And I put them on a stick also because I knew that they were gonna be warm and like kind of melty. They don't look that bad. So you guys let me know if they look bad or not. I am gonna loosen this with a butter knife first. This bun is like so gigantic. This is like a mall bun or something. that delicious and fluffy texture and that beautiful color. And we have frosting, we have streusel, we have a white chocolate pumpkin garnish. And there are the pumpkin streusel buns. That's a good name. I like that, a pumpkin streusel bun. And I don't know about you, but just like at Cinnabon, or I'll call them mall buns, I put extra frosting on mine. I pay for that, like that little extra. So I like the frosting. I'm actually gonna remove this because we're gonna cut into the bun. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more streusel on top of here. to slice into here. Okay, and here is the fluffy interior. And I wanna see the filling. And there we go, there is our filling right there. So I ended up taking off my garnishes and let's just have a look at our pumpkin streusel buns with pumpkin orange icing and a pumpkin pie filling, pumpkin pie cream cheese filling. I added so many layers of flavors to these buns, I can't wait to taste it. Thank you. 